this almost looks man-made, manufactured. I yeah. mean, it doesn't look like yeah. something from the natural world. The precision, the fine straight lines that they've created right. is extraordinary. Right, right. It's uh, an engineering wonder for sure. Look at the, it's, it's perfect. Yeah. Hexagons here. Yeah. It is amazing. And uh, the hexagon is a very strong structure. The bees have made an identical pattern to the columns on the giant's causeway. Each cell is exactly like the others, six walls meeting precisely at 120 degrees. And every honeybee everywhere in the world knows how to build these shapes. It's as if the hexagon is built into the bee's DNA. You can see the bees going uh, down inside the cell. It's almost exactly the same size as their bodies. So right. Are they using their body like a, a ruler right. in some sense I would to do the that, geometry? I would say that's an accurate description. I know different races have a smaller body, and the cell size in their comb is smaller. And each of the hexagons, how do they actually make a hexagon rather than some irregular shape? They've just done it for thousands and thousands of years. They were born to do it. They just instinctively know that this is the shape of their home. But there's more to the bee's behavior than raw instinct. There's another reason why they build in hexagons. And to reveal that reason, we need to turn to the universal language of all nature, mathematics. The bee's primary need is to store as much honey as they can while using as little precious wax as possible. The bee's honeycomb is an amazing piece of engineering, but why have they evolved to produce this hexagonal pattern? Well, actually, they don't have too many choices. If you try to put pentagons together, for example, they just don't fit together nicely or circles leave lots of little gaps. If they want to produce a network of regular shapes which fit together neatly, uh, then you've really only got three options. You can do equilateral triangles, or you could do squares, or you can do the bee's hexagons. But why of those three does the bee choose the hexagons? Well, it turns out that the Triangles actually use much more wax than any of the other shapes. Squares are a little better, but it's the hexagons which use the least amount of wax. It's a solution that was only mathematically proven a few years ago. The hexagonal array is the most efficient storage solution the bees could have chosen. Yet with a little help from evolution, they worked it out for themselves millions of years ago.